Okay, so the end result for this one is the following one. You run around in the beds, and if you press P, it disappears, and you see the the projector going to place. And that that is it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's keep moving with the with the uh, projectile trajectory tutorial part two. Let's begin. First, let's add the tick function in into the, uh, our 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 character. All right. And uh, now we're going to draw uh, draw the uh, so no projectile trajectory no trajectory. Well, I don't. Know. Well, I'm gonna disable context sensitive. It works sometimes. Trace. Let's see. Predict projectiles path by trace channel. Predict projectile. Okay. Predict projectile object type. This one. Okay, then this one. And um, we're gonna do the the projectile radius ten. We're going to do that. Um, the gravity. No, let's not override the gravity. The frequency fifteen. How many times I think it is? Oh, I oh, know this is uh, for long distances. Okay, let's add the objects. And I'm going to do uh, make array and add a dynamic thing, a static world thing. Compile. Okay, now it's good. And uh, let's draw it for one frame. Every time the frame is, is on, it's like it's gonna be drawn. Okay. Um. What else we want to do? We want to do that. It follows the the, this, the, the path, the start location would be this one, and the launch build velocity would be 500, so it's this one plus, or not. Well, I don't remember how to do this. How was it? Oh, launch velocity. Hmm. Well, Okay, I am back with the tutorial, and we we were about to plug in launch velocity, and the launch velocity should be um, something like okay, you take the rotation, you multiply, you you you, you take the, the rotation, you add it seventy units on the z axis, and you. You uh, have to add it with, uh, well, this this same rotation multiplied by 900 and something like this. Yeah, just try to copy this, and this should bring us a trajectory that one we want to protect. All. And, and for some reason, if it's in here, thousand units it has to be here, 900 units here. For some reason, I don't know why, but they, they've done it like this. So you launch, you press P, and it follows this trajectory. As you can see, it predicts the trajectory. We can we can go and not draw and not not try to. Uh, Hit the uh, the uh, projectile, so we can see how it follows the whole trajectory. So let's remove this thing, and this will look like this. Yeah. Well, it is not perfect, but hey, don't don't blame it on me, cause. 
<laughs> I haven't coded this engine and well whatever. Well for some projects it just perfectly for others for other projects not so much because those are different cases. Okay, <laughs> so let's keep moving. As you can see this you have to do this, the rotation added with something units and say axis and the rotation multiplied by nine hundred Add it and add them both here and you will have the launch velocity. Okay, now the the good thing. Draw them on the screen. Okay, hey, let me test something. That, what happens if I don't draw from the parent actor? That uh, works anyways, okay. Okay, okay. So yeah, this draws a tra trajectory from the card here. Uh, what if we want to to add in the uh, the uh, the uh, <clears throat> the splines? Well, that we will see it later. Okay, so let's draw this initial um, time points. So let's do a for for each with break break just in case you never know when you need it. Um, you add spline mesh component, spline mesh, yeah, spline mesh here. You don't add a relative transform, you don't need it. And it says set start and end point here. On the, the third point, it's going to to be this, this thing. Get well, we do a simple get. This one and this thing. And this is going to be a start point. And the end point, it's going to be this one. Get. Which one? This one. This plus one. Add it. Plus one. And it's gonna it's gonna do the end point, I think. Let's not add the tangent, let's see what happens if we don't add the tangent. Um this thing should be uh this uh cylinder cylinder cylinder. Okay, that's it. Uh, now let's see what happens if we uh, test out. <clears throat> okay. Oh, let me check the main code. Okay, this thing. This thing. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Well, let's test it real quick. I don't think it's gonna work, but let's try. Okay, yeah, it worked. Too much, I think. Uh, but we need to add. Well, it, it goes up an error. Let's see. Um. Okay, it's well. It's not important for now. Um, holy moly! Get out of the way. Discord. No, I'm not doing gold. Whatever. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> um, and yeah. Um, the we have to do the return. A I Y axis I think. Let's see what happens. Play. No, it has to be on the Z axis I think. Not sure. Okay, now this starts to look kind of better, kind of better. With some errors, but it looks better. Okay, 
in the next one we're going to see how to draw the tangent for it okay so I, I, I thought okay maybe maybe um, we can calculate the tangent without something the uh, component of a need to add here it is a spline it is a spline um, we need it so we add it on the character and we call it required required and then calculator okay this way we can calculate the tangent of these things well it fail it's here Yeah, it's fine. Uh, not uh, yeah. But it's good. Um, yeah, we're going to add in um, some points on. Um, Okay, well, next video we'll see how to... Okay, so yeah, we can uh, do something like this. As you can see, it draws the trajectory and everything fine. And um, let's, 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 uh, let's, let's, well, let's explain what I did here. So I did something, obviously, with this required tangent calculator. And um, okay, when it's completed, well, th this was different before, of course, but yeah, when it is completed, it's going to iterate. What well, it's going to iterate all the points, all of these points, and um, it's gonna basically add a spline mesh component on the point. Yeah, this, okay. Uh, yeah, this was different. And I use this set to spline point type to yeah what we're going to do now that's this thing well um no 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 Alright after we've got the uh, predict projectile and all that we're going to uh, draw properly and we've seen the result we're going to draw properly this spline okay so every every iteration let's add a spline point in the, uh, the required tangent calculator we need it to calculate the tangents right when we have this we're going to get spline point spline length uh well we have to set spline point type as well here and uh, so it's going to draw our tangent that we need okay then let's get the uh, spline well not let's not use this and yeah this has to be world uh, okay um hmm. hold on let me check something real quick Okay, uh, it's fun point. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I have to add it on the left in index. Okay. Then set spine point. Let's get last index. 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 Sorry. Uh, All uh, right. So once we've got this, we're going to do a for loop with break just in case we need the letter. And let's see that the last index is this one. Uh, index was one, right? And um, yeah. We need to add a spline, well, 
now that everything is drawn, let's add the spline point mesh so that it's on the z-axis manual attachment and let's not add it a relative transform let's use set start an endpoint okay and the tangent points are going to be the ones of this the quarter tangent calculator moving um you get this so this um this is the start this is the end of the uh, spine mm -hmm. okay and to start this is the end on a tangent so let's calculate them to do it you go here and calculate tangent no, no. tangent send the color get tangent time get tangent at spine point world and uh, this should be this one, the start point is with this one, and the uh, other one should be this one. World, world, and that's it. Uh, this should work. I'm not sure if everything is fine, but it should work. Let's um mesh and the mesh cylinder chip cylinder uh, it's on the z yeah it's, it's good and this should draw our our good spy let's test and uh, okay this one match check play to compile error, what? Oh, here. What do we need? Spin position is being disembodied. Oh, let's try the position here. Compile, play. See what happens. Yeah, now it draws perfectly. Okay, well, next step, we're going to um, spawn the. Uh, the uh, mesh components just ones uh well that's the hardest part because you have to make them disappear and appear so yeah let's stop recording i don't know what this one's no idea well <laughs> okay well that, that was hard and stop no get out of the way Okay, stop recording. Okay, now that we've seen that we can render them, we need to render them, render a specific amount of them. So for this, let's declare this array, array of spline points, and it's going to be a spline mesh component thing. And whenever we add them, here we're gonna add them. Here we add them in here too in the array like this. This one here, okay. And how we're going to do this, we will see in the next uh, video. Well, next part of this video. Sorry. <laughs> Next thing is being a, a bad recorder. Well, it doesn't want to work. No, it does not want to work. No, I don't want to log in. Log out. Stop recording. Okay. And we draw the elements. Now that we've got the array and we draw the elements, 
We want to make sure that they only get spawned once. To do this, uh, it's it's as easy as taking the array and making sure if if it's not smaller. Well, where is the smaller now? It is. If it is smaller or equal the length, if the length is smaller or equal this thing, this this uh, length. Let's draw one. If this is let's draw one, right, and draw one. If not. Um, if this is if this is smaller, it's true. If it's if it is uh, if it is false, we're gonna do something else. So yeah, play and it's gonna get drawn once, and that it, that is it, only once. That is good. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Now. Well, in the next video we see it, if this does want to stop recording. Okay, welcome to the welcome to the next video, what I was talking about. And yeah, we're going to do the... If, if this is a spawn already, let's just move them around. Let's manipulate them or whatever we want to call it. I don't know why it say side to pair, but here. Uh, yeah, you, you gotta use the array, so let's use a, a 4 for this loop. Okay, so, if, 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 um, Well, for for each thing of this one, well, let's get here. Let's get a copy. And this plus one. We're going to draw the points on the on on the area on the matrix, whatever we want to call it. And yeah. The uh, the um, the uh, index for this one and this other one. Well, no use root here. And yeah, it's gonna draw them, but not with tangent. I think. Let's make sure it works. So yeah. All those five messages should be rendered. Let's play. No. Why? <laughs> okay, this thing here. Here. Sorry, I got to scratch my nose. So if anyone saw it, yeah. You can see it gets drawn, but not with tangent. So let's get a tangent, shall we? Um, look at the tangent. And um, the spam points and the tangent should be this one. No, this one. Okay, right, spam points. This one. And we use the, uh, the, uh, this one get tangent at spam point. Tangent spam point. Okay, the spam point should be this one into the world, and the star point should be this one, and the uh, and the end point should be this one, and then we will have a perfect spine in. If everything goes fine. 
Okay, yeah, we've got a spy, but it's not perfect for some reason. Not like before. But hey, it's something. Uh, let's make it perfect that there's no... There's no... Uh, like this long thing that it goes to the uh, zero, zero, zero. Let's remove it. That's easy. The next video will see it. Jesus. I'm gonna treat this program with closing it and that's gonna work. Let me say no. Okay, yeah, it's working. And I'll start recording. Come on. Stop recording. It's been four minutes already. <laughs> Doesn't want to start recording. No, it does not want. Okay, it's stop. And this war okay, it's working. It's working. Okay, so yeah, if we add here a check uh, asking for if the if one of if the shared position and the end position is smaller than zero to one, so this means that the vector is zero zero zero. Let's not draw one. If so, let's draw shard and end point zero zero zero. Shard and end point. In here, if it's bigger, if it's if it's bigger, let's. Alright, uh, let's draw it, and yeah, let's begin play, and as you can see, you have a almost perfect spine, because there's some spots here, that could be filled or something, I'm not sure, but yeah, maybe we can fix that, yeah, I tried to fuck to fix it, so fix that real, uh, real fast, and um, yeah, if we can fix it, fix it, better for us. And we go here and set size, set line, no, size. No, there's no such thing as size for size. Well, um. Ah, scale and set and scale and set our well, set our scale. Set our scale. And this should be working, maybe. I don't know. Maybe five plus two and two. I don't know it's why it's 2D, but hey, it works. I have no idea. Play. Whoa. Yeah, that only works for the start. Okay, I know why. Well. And in the next video, if you finish, we're going to. Well, let's reset this to default. And in the next video, we're going to remove them from the screen whenever we shoot the projectile and see how the projectile goes away and that way we will have the complete tutorial because i don't know how to make the spine go together in here it go together but well, maybe less points or more frequency here should be fine like 50 frequency maybe play well, and the better, very expensive because it's slow. My computer is getting slow, but yeah, this is what it is. Thin play, maybe if I just that, I don't know, or uh, to compile play, play well. It's 
not very spliny, but it's okay. So, well, that's it for the video. And for the next one, we're going to uh, when we press P, destroy them. Okay, this is the last video, and for this one, we're going to do the, the there's a Boolean, Boolean or Boolean, I don't know, uh, single, and let's do the, it's called shoot, draw, track. okay, if, if it's true, and it's true as default. It should draw the trajectory. Right. If it falls, do not do anything. So when we press P, um, P, P, Short draw. This should be true. I mean false. After some time, it's going to be um true again. It's going to draw trajectory again. Uh, let's see what happens. Not perfect, it's not going to be something perfect as it's not going to get um, destroyed forever. But let's check P and it draws again. That's P, it draws again. P, and it draws again. Okay, let's 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 do that. Whenever we press P, these things will get destroyed. Destroy, let's disable context, destroy actor. But well, I cannot do that. Destroy. Hmm. Well, I should destroy all of them, but I have no idea how to. From an array. Maybe I have to do an iterator. So I'll just do an iterator. For each. Destroy. Well, the touch. It was the touch. That's from component. Oh, okay. I, sh I, I just have to do this. 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 And this. And this should work. I hope. There's something I'm doing wrong. You press P. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. Hmm. Detach from component. This should basically say if if this gets called, then uh, these things won't get attached. But I have no idea why they won't get attached. Oh well, I have to. Get well, itself already for some reason. So, no. Well, we'll see it in the next chapter. Well, as the um, this function here didn't detach destroy the uh, components because there's no such thing as to destroy the components we should destroy the character to destroy the components we just set all of them to start precision zero or end precision zero which is not the best option but it works so we press play and whenever we shoot it's gonna stop drawing and start We could go and 
and make the projectile bigger and keep drawing these things to see how it goes through the project to through the trajectory. Uh, it's making bigger on the I don't know which axis. I guess it's one. No, not one. Here, one. No. Well, maybe bigger overall. Well, one here and one here. Now it's here. Last longer, but it's good. Uh, it's pain. We will see the protector probably. No, I don't see protector. Well, we'll see it, but very small still. So let's make a beer. Three, three. Okay, then play. You see, follows the trajectory. Mighty. Well. But yeah, the end result should be this one. But whenever one, we destroy the trajectory. And yeah. The uh, particle goes through the trajectory. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is the end result. You hit play, you press P to draw the projectile, it goes and it goes to the trajectory. Then you can go and change the material to a translucent one. Let's do it real quick. Let's do it. We go here, make material. I see it's a tutorial, the organization doesn't matter here. So, spawn translucent. This, uh, but not okay. Um, let's make it red. No, green. Let's make, uh, let's take it green. Green. One, one, one. No, that, that is two. Green. Let's make it just fine. Spline. The splines and let's make it translucent. Well, the base color would, would be this one, then let's make it translucent. If I see how volume now uh, fading, hmm. hold on, let define again what was the, the way to make it. Oh, here, translucent. 1 and 0 0.5 opacity save then we go on apply and blueprints of blueprint class color gear and just make it custom break and then we see here where it gets spawned Sorry for this amount of spaghetti, but this is how I code and I try to change my ways, but it's pretty dumb since if I lose time, it's not productive, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to go. Trans. Okay, this thing. Compile. And this should be drawn a screen. Okay. Yeah, it draws a screen. And we see the projectile inside. <laughs> and yeah, let's make the, the size smaller. Let's see what happens. No, keep it, keep it uh, the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, not not a big okay. For some reason, when you change scale, everything goes super. Okay, we have to make it movable to destroy it. Okay, that's another thing. To make it, to destroy it, you have to make it movable. Then if we do this, without this, it, it works just fine. I hope. Okay, I didn't hope well. That's, it doesn't get destroyed, not even like this. 
Yeah, but and uh, destroy you have to make it mobile. <coughs> but for some reason it doesn't even work like that. But there's this I have other projects that, that work, but for some reason it's not this one. Well This is it like um the end result it's the following following Hey, where's the tick function? Tick function here? Okay. No, it should. <sighs> okay, here. The end. Okay, so the end result of this thing is this one. We see the spline getting drawn. Um. When we press P, it falls to the path. Not perfect, but hey, it works. <laughs> hmm. Well, see you later. <laughs> and well to in order to make this this plans uh you have to set the end the uh spline point type the end one to this one good and uh, make sure this is um this is the next spline point, you know, it's this one plus one, right? Well, that's it.